Hey guys, so I've been asked to show you how to do a high bun. You know, the messy type, really carefree look that a lot of girls do. Um, it works better on longer hair. If you have short hair, I'm sure you can pull it off somehow. Um, but I'm just going to show you how I do it. It's really simple and it's great for like day four dirty hair because <laughs> I love not washing my hair. Um, all you need is a little dry shampoo and nobody will know that your hair has been a little bit dirty. So. Um, what I'm going to do first is, well what you're going to need first is a ponytail holder. You're going to want to use a natural boar bristle brush and definitely some hairspray. Or I'm going to use um, L'Oreal Professional Infinium 3. I just like the flexibility of this spray. Okay. So you're going to start out by gathering your hair at the very top of your head. Now it helps if you tip your head upside down, um, just but for tutorial purposes I'm going to show you how I do it sitting up. So I'm going to gather all my hair with my hands pretty much just straight up like that. I'm going to take my four bristle brush and start combing all the hair in the upward direction. Now keep in mind, this doesn't have to be skin tight to your head. It can be very loose and textured looking. So if you have curls, I mean, you could just gather all this hair up without even combing it. You can just use your fingers to kind of gather all the hair up on top of your head. Okay, so now once you've had all your hair as smooth as you like it, you can take a little spray just for a little bit more, more hold. Spray it like that and just... I'm taking my comb or my brush on the side. I'm using the side of the bristles, not the top, because then I'm not pulling as much. I'm just smoothing out the surface layer of the hair. Okay, now we're ready for the ponytail. So I'm just going to do it twice. I don't like to pull my ponytail too tight. It gives me a headache. And you just kind of mold the shape of a little bun on top of your head. And you can spray it and start sticking bobby pins in. Literally just stick as many bobby pins in there as you can until it starts to hold. Or what you can do is take, for a little bit more messy of a look, is take your ponytail and take your, your brush and back comb. This is going to make your bun much bigger and just back home, you know, all these pieces of hair. This is great for people with um, finer hair. Now you can see how crazy I look right now. So then you're, you're just going to take all that back combed hair and just start to form the shape of a messy bun. I like to keep my bobby pins in a clear container so when I take them out of my hair at night I put them back in here so I don't have to keep buying bobby pins because it's so annoying. So, you know, recycle a little bit and just make sure that you put them back where you took them from. So now I'm not going to open the bobby pin. It's going to stay like this and I'm just going to start sliding it in until I feel like it's holding my hair in place where I want it to. And the best way to lock bobby pins is to crisscross them. So they would look they would look like this in your hair, and that's gonna lock them. So, and I'm not opening them, I'm just sliding them in. You could even kind of do a little sewing motion to gather a little bit more hair. And the thing I love about this hairstyle is it's so not perfect. So if you don't have every hair in place, that's even better. It looks better that way. I always say there's no such thing as perfect hair. And if anybody says there is, then they're just crazy. I think imperfection is a little bit more pretty than perfection. Or what people think perfection is, that is. So basically, it only took me five bobby pins to secure this, and what you can do is you can give it a shake, and if things start falling down, then just start pinning them where you feel like it's loose, but, I mean, 
Sometimes I like to take hairpins, which look like this. These have a little bit, um, they have a looser hold. They're going to just uh, detail the hair. So, like over here, stick one in, and over here. Just like that. And then you just want to spray. Just like that. And there you have it. You have a high bun. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial and I hope you can achieve this on your own. If you have any questions, please let me know. Otherwise, I will see you next Friday and have a great week. Thanks.